So, what is a drone? Well, that's what this whole project lab is about, drone technology, right? But what if you don't know what a drone is? So, we're going to take a couple minutes to talk about what drones are, at least how we explain them in the lab, so that you'll have a better understanding of what to expect. So, most of you probably know what a drone is. Uh, a drone is something that we call, another name for a drone actually, it's called a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle. That means that it's a vehicle that can fly but doesn't have an actual pilot on board, right? So here we have some examples of some drones, some popular drones. So these are actually drones that are made to be flown indoors, but you can get drones that are much, much bigger than this. Um, here's one of the drones that we use for our drone racing lab. And as you can see, this one actually has a camera on it. So we use this along with some goggles to actually uh, be able to see from the vantage point of the drone. So it's like you're riding on a drone, okay? Um, and that's pretty cool. So we use that in our racing lab. Uh, here's a little bit bigger version of this here. You have a camera on it with an antenna, uh, broadcast video. And so you can kind of see these are our racing drones, okay? Again, a drone, important parts to remember is that a drone is an unmanned aerial vehicle. Uh, the drones that we'll, we'll use actually have four motors and blades, so they're called quadcopters, quad meaning four, but you can get hexacopters, uh, which have six propellers and motors, and octocopters, uh, but the quadcopter is very stable to fly. It's actually a great drone for beginners, and that's one of the reasons we use it. So um, if you didn't know what a drone was, hopefully you do now and have a better idea of kind of what to expect as you go through this uh, project lab. It comes with uh, the prop guard here, uh, or pretty much like a cage. So this helps so as you bump into walls and other obstacles, you don't uh, run into your propellers here and uh, cause your drone to crash. So it's very forgiving, very durable. Um, it uses a 3.7 LiPo battery, which um, we should have a link for you to get replacement batteries for that and extra batteries as well. Um, so this is very, very good drone. The other added bonus for this drone is the remote here, which doubles as a remote for the drone simulator. So if you're able to download the simulator from DRL.com, um, you can actually fly on a computer. Um, so you'll get a more realistic sense of actually flying through courses and in races, and you can use this uh, remote uh, as a controller on your computer as well, or your Mac. So uh, that's what I like about just this whole combo. Forward and back. And then once you get a little bit better at that, you can also do left and right. So a drone is just like a car. So there's a forward and a back, a front and a back, and a left and right side. And so we always tell the kids to practice standing behind your drone. So that way you know the orientation. So when you push forward and right and left and back, you the drone moves forward, backwards, left and right, just as you would think it would, okay? And then once you're able to kind of get a little bit better at that, just the basic moves, then you can start to do something a little bit more complicated, like going around obstacles. simple moves and you'll be able to get a little bit better at doing some of the more complex moves. Alright? 